Do you enjoy writing? Perhaps you've even pondered publishing your own book but have been unsure about the whole self-publishing business. Well, Mike Miller from FloridaBackroadsTravel.com has created 23 books, all from the content of his website, and he's produced them as Kindles and as printed books and selling them on Amazon. You can create a book out of any website content, whether it will sell or not. It's not just a matter of chance. I think it's a matter of seeing if anybody on Amazon is searching for what you're creating. Keep watching and you'll find out how you can become a successful self-publishing author too. Hello, I'm Paul Buckingham, roving ambassador for Solo Build It. Using Solo Build It's extensive education resources, as well as his own keyword-focused website, Mike has been able to completely supplement his retirement income doing exactly what he loves and living how he likes. We'll discover how he did it and how you can do it too right after this. I created my first solo build it site in 2009. That's Florida Backroads Travel. That's my flagship site. That's the one that earns my living both from um, you know web, web traffic and the books. But I didn't start the book idea until three years later when I wrote Living Aboard a Boat. And that, that idea said, you know, I said, yeah, this looks like it could be a website. And it was, it was fortunate because a magazine called Living Aboard had just gone out of business. And I thought, okay, this is my chance to land on number one on, on Google. And I did with the website. So uh, with the book first, and then I created the website, and the results have been mediocre because the subject is kind of shallow. I can't can't put any depth in it. It's for people, beginners, who are interested in living on a a boat. But that gave me the idea in 2012 of taking my existing website and going back the other direction, creating books out of the existing website. So the, the, the book, Florida Backroads Travel, actually came from your flagship website. Right. And at the time I did it, I think I, I did it maybe in 2015, I had perhaps 400 pages on my website, and I somehow worked them all into the book. That book is thicker than the Bible. So I've never seen the Bible. Bible. You'll have to take your word for it. that's a lot of pages how long did it take for you to put that together i'm going to give you a little bit of the technique i use because it doesn't work for everybody and there's a cautionary tale herein when i did the um kindle book and created the word manuscript going way back all i did was cut and paste from my website i cut the pic you know page by page and the pictures on your website are good enough for a Kindle. The Kindle resolution is just like a computer resolution. Now, when I started doing the Florida Backroads Travel book, I used the same technique, but the pictures, um, the, re- the resolution on a soft cover book is kind of bad for my book. So to solve that, I just took a lot of the photos out that re- really didn't add to the intent of the book. So... In my case, I, uh, I'm not much of a photographer, and I didn't have a lot of high-resolution photos. Plus, in a, in a soft-cover book, the more photos, the more the book costs you. And color photos really cost you, so I limited the, the photos in my book. And, and nobody's complained? No, you know, one of the tests on, on Amazon... Number one, it's very difficult to get a review on Amazon, and I didn't take the old... Some of my writer friends took the approach of having all of their friends do reviews. Well, Amazon's algorithm has figured that one out, you know. I don't know how, you know. The the internet is intrusive, including Amazon. So I didn't do that. And slowly but surely, even though I sold probably several thousand copies of that book, I have 30 reviews. But they're all from verified purchasers, and and I think my rating is four and a half stars out of five or something. And I have had almost no returns, so that that's how I think I'm satisfying. Now I was ready. Uh, I was ready in January to put out another edition that was updated for 2020, 
but the pandemic uh, crisis has made me worry that a lot of the attractions I feature and the restaurants I feature, will they make it through this economic crisis? I don't know. So I'm going to hold yeah. off on the next edition. It It's pretty interesting, actually, because when you think about it, your first Kindle version of, of the book was, as you say, cut and paste in effect from the website or copy and paste from the website. And so for somebody that already has a website which has got substantially good quality content on it, I mean, 40, 50 pages, let's say, uh, but there's good content, it would be quite easy to duplicate that process and, and sell the book quite simply. All the content's there. It's just a new medium to distribute the material. Yes, that's correct. And the only reason I, I stick with Amazon for my fulfillment because I didn't want the hassle of dealing with another fulfillment company. And it, with with Amazon or CreateSpace or Kindle, any of those platforms, there's other platforms, of course. Those are the ones I use. But you can pretty much determine your price of your book within reason. They recommend. In fact, all of my all of my books are priced less than Amazon recommends. But I'm afraid, you know, I'm afraid to tamper with uh, the success. So I set it up so I make two dollars on every Kindle book, and I make uh, four dollars on every soft color cover book. Right. The other, the other thing is, uh, I, I didn't mention this: when you're making your book, whether it's for Kindle or any other uh, publishing platform, I always make a PDF copy. And the PDF copy also has a cover, the same cover I use on the book. And then from time to time, I've got 8,000 subscribers on my uh, e-zine that I put up at least monthly, sometimes twice a month. Sometimes I give them a PDF book as a gift, just as a token of appreciation. So it's very useful. But I don't sell them from my website per se. I just... And, and, and the, the, the plan I have with Amazon, I'm free to sell my own books. I don't have this exclusive uh, arrangement where you can only have Amazon sell them. So. Yeah. So you've done the first one. You've um, ripped the guts out of your website. So that's that. What then inspired you to create more books? And, and what was their nature? Were they, were they just subset subjects of, of the bigger you know, conversation? In the beginning, yes, there were subsets. Um, the big fat book, the, the one that's thicker than the Bible, um, it, it is, is all about Florida. And in the book, I've divided Florida into eight geographic regions. Therefore, I created eight more books from the content of the first book. And they're titled you know, Northwest Florida, Back Roads Travel, Southeast Florida, etc., and so that gave me eight more books that I could price at a lower uh, level. And then people in those regions, and they sell very well too. Actually, the, but the, the big fat one sells better because I hoped people would do the math. They could buy two or three of the regional books or the whole big fat one. So each of the books then are subsets. They were also Kindles, but then you turned them into printed versions as well, yes? Yes, that's correct. But only uh, the first nine books then were all from the contents of my website. But the first big, the Bible-sized book, I did not include all of my content. Because uh, a lot of my content was image-oriented. And I did not want to, if I created a, a Bible-sized book with all of the color images and things in my website, the price would be out of reach. Nobody would buy it. So I created another, I don't know, 10 books or so from other content on my website. Because, again, while all this is happening, I'm creating content on my new content on my website almost every day. Even now, I try to create something new every day. There's no limit. As long as you're expanding your website, you're also expanding content that you can use in a book. So you clearly have an advantage because it's a travel niche and people are wanting to discover Florida, and you are obviously a great resource for history and also maps and, you know, where to go and all of that kind of thing. For somebody in some other niche, though, they don't have that advantage. Is there some experience that you've had that could help somebody in any other niche, really, that um, 
would encourage them still to go go ahead and work with an Amazon, you know, Kindle to start with? The, the only thing that, that comes to mind here is that um, when you're creating an SVI site, it's a keyword focused content site. And of course, yep. Amazon is also a keyword focused uh, search engine. And therefore, you can almost use the skills you develop with SBI to go onto Amazon and see if there's any demand for the book that you would create from the contents of your website. I've done that on a couple of the less interesting things on my website. Um, yeah. But you can create a book out of any website content, whether it will sell or not. Uh, it's not just a matter of chance. I think it's a matter of seeing if anybody on Amazon is searching for what you're creating. Maybe you're an expert on the love life of a grub worm. So you want to write a book on the love, love life of a grub worm based on your website about the love life of a grub worm. Maybe not enough people are looking for that. Mike has already mentioned the role Solo Builder has had on his ability to create the right content, not only to support him financially, but also to create his books. You can follow the story of his website development and how it has supported his retirement income by visiting the link just above me in the corner or, after this interview, visiting the Solo Build It YouTube channel. And if you are retired or retiring pretty soon, there's a special bonus in there for you as well. While you're watching one of our videos, please take the time to subscribe to our Solo Build It YouTube channel. That way we'll be able to keep you in touch and let you know when the next inspiring video featuring somebody that's worked with Solo Build It and supported their financial future with it comes available. There is a whole new world for you to discover with Solo Build It. By combining your brains, action, and of course your motivation to Solo Build It's rock solid education and support system, you have all you need to create a secure financial future for you and your family. Seems unbelievable? Even better, right now Solo Build It is making it easier than ever for you to grab control of your financial well being. How? We have slashed both the annual and monthly plans for the first year to help you get going. And you still have our No Questions Asked 90-Day Guarantee if you discover it isn't for you. And there are even more benefits to this offer. To discover more, visit sitesell.com. And with that, it's back to Mike, who's about to share a pretty exciting development that's furthered his writing career. A significantly large publisher decided, late 2018, they decided they wanted to do a book on Florida day trips. They have a series of books all over the country. Michigan day trips, Florida day trips is their newest one now, mine. Anyway, they decided, okay, we need a book on Florida day trips, and they Googled Florida day trips and my website, came up number one. And so they contacted me. They commissioned me to write the book. I get royalties on the sales. And it's nationally distributed. In fact, it's 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 internationally distributed. They printed 5,000 of the book and uh, they sold uh, they sold 1,900 in the first month. So You got the book then? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's the book. And, 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 and the beauty of it is the, my arrangement in writing is that I can use the content from my website. Now, it's not a simple cut and paste operation as I did for the, uh, the first books we discussed. This is one where they had a very specific format. The books look a lot better than my, my own. I just to show you a little bit of what they look like inside, a lot more professional and a professional layout and a professional template that they use in all of their books. But the content is mine. And, uh, you know, the royalties are not as high as a percentage of the retail price as I get on Amazon, but the distribution is so much better. I'm hoping to make more money. The one thing that I wanted to really um, get across for somebody that's watching this and is 
right at the beginning journey at the beginning state of their journey is is what do you think is the first step and even the first couple of steps that they need to take whether they feel confident or, or not you know how do you get going in this process well you know for creating a book number one go to uh, go to go to create space and read uh, read all of the tips on how to create the book I think maybe even in create space they have some tools to help you um, evaluate the subject you're you're intending to write on and uh, and then uh, order some cheap Kindle is loaded with one dollar 99 cent books just order a bunch of books and see what's out there and uh, I, I don't like to say this but anyone can write a book now of course writing a book and selling a book are two different things but I'd get started that way by reading what's out there. And if they they have a niche, if they have a subject, um, then they should order some books on their subject to see. And again, I think it was pointed out way back early in the SBI days, don't worry if somebody else has the same book that you want to write because you're going to give it a little different twist and uh, it'll be a different book. So, you know, how many... How many books are out there on, uh, you know, how to make money as a writer or how to be a success as a uh, scuba diver, whatever? Anything you can think of is there and there's more than one title. So I just get started browsing what's out there and what other people have written. And in terms of the website, you can look at your website and kind of figure out how that would fit into the book format. 